Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Well, you know, there could be some grappling in this segment because... Uh, <laughs> well, I was going to dress just like him and we were going to do a whole man in his puppet routine, but... <laughs> Please don't! Because <laughs> it would have been pretty funny. Chris Gale is joining us, of course, anchor Global News Hour, uh, celebrating a five-year anniversary on Global. Five I can't, years! I can't believe it. See, that would have been a great thing if we had if we'd gotten it together, but I didn't bring... Next time. I, you, uh, we always joke, you're mini-me. Everybody yeah. in the green room was saying, you're mini-me. <laughs> can we have Insane. to go All right. Yeah. 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 There we go. There we go. There we go. Huh? There. Hey, we will have fun today. <laughs> Clown. Oh, careful. Um, God, can you believe it's good. been five years? I can't believe it's been five years. Uh, we moved uh, back to Vancouver from, uh, I say back to Vancouver. My wife's from Richmond. I'd never lived here before, but yeah. our families were out here, and we moved back from New York City, where I'd been working for the local Fox affiliate there. And uh, What was the reason for the move uh, initially for you? Was it just sort of time to come back to Canada? Time That's how we felt. Home? I mean, New, New York was great, and I had, a, I had a good contract offer to stay there, but... It just wasn't the right station, and it and and we felt like we'd had the best three years in New York. We why had, wouldn't Fox News be right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shocker, right? <laughs> well, and, and here's 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 always the caveat to that is I worked for WNYW, the local Fox affiliate, so we didn't share Much a building. Much different from We the, weren't in yeah. that whole Fox News Channel universe. Universe, universe. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was I was. A little bit thankful for that. And uh, was it something about the fit at, at Global here? I, I mean, it's got such a great history, that station. And, and exactly. you know, obviously the audience has such a... Uh um, loyalty, a loyalty to, yeah. to that brand, to which, that which oddly enough means, what was the upside? <laughs> right. you know, like, I could have driven the thing right, right into the ground. That was probably the only other thing. But yeah, obviously the the audience was great. It's a you know heritage station, and it's wildly popular in this market. And but it's a great news program, and it's a great news station, and yeah. it of course is in the best city in the world. If you ask my Thank opinion. You. Now, of course, being province. a news anchor, you're used to holding your composure and never getting thrown off by things. But we have some <laughs> right. footage of, I mean, of course, we're on television. There's big lights around all the yeah. time, and sometimes the bulbs explode. Well, yeah, but, but they, they do it clip? silently. <laughs> I know. <laughs> or they just kind of go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it didn't, didn't happen that way recently. So in when the was studio. this? This was fairly recent, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, this was only, uh, I don't know, it was maybe last month? Yeah. What are we in? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco yes. de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos dias. What do you mean? Okay, well, let's have again. a look at Chris Galis holding his composure when a light bulb explodes. Yeah. Well, if you'd like to see the Vancouver Film School's anti-bullying video. Oh, Whoa. that was a light that went, huh? <laughs> that was a light. <laughs> see me duck? Yeah. I thought we were under fire there, Wayne. <laughs> and rightly so. Wow. Yeah. How are you doing? Somebody's taking shots at it. You're doing okay. I think so. Uh, yeah. The, the heart was just about, you know, ready to go, and that yeah. started it up again. That was good. Yeah, oh, I think we're, we're safe now. Brian's got everything under control over so. there. Yeah. Is... Oh, this is <laughs> 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 Thanks for that. See, my understanding Wonderful. was that part of Wayne Cox's contract was to actually throw his body in front of you in case anything like this should happen. I gotta admit, I was surprised when he didn't do that. Yeah, he looked pretty chill. <laughs> would do that. I thought there was a shooter on the balcony, for goodness sake. It was unbelievable. But normally, they'll go and they'll just you fizzle, like anything. you say. You won't hear anything. But that one, and there were shards of glass. If it wasn't for the little scrim, on the front of the light, you I could, think. Well, I would have taken shrapnel. You could have taken shrapnel. It could have wrecked all yeah. that. Oh, it would have been tragic. Okay, been now tragic. we have um, some B-roll here of your first time anchoring. When oh, is yeah. this from? This it would be May eighth, yeah. two thousand and six. Uh, were you nervous before this broadcast? I mean, obviously, that's you've been my doing birthday, this. by the way, Chris. Uh, is it really? Yeah, yeah it is. Oh. You've been doing this for years and years, and <laughs> have a great track record. But I mean, when you're starting in a new station and doing everything, is there some nerves? When you yeah, first a little bit for sure, especially when you, you know, now it's family, right? So yeah. you've got family. Well, I'm always more nervous uh, in front of the family than anything else. But uh, like, like we've already discussed, it's so well watched even on a Saturday, which was yeah. my first day of they, they gave you the gentle entry. Yeah. Yeah, well, exactly. Let's put him on the weekend. Exactly, yeah. And we wanted to talk about 000. an amazing story about a train crash that happened in Trail BC and what your cameraman yeah. did. This is incredible. Tell us what yeah. we're looking at here. This is uh, the site of a, uh, of a train crash, as you mentioned, in Trail BC. There's a real steep the decline there into uh, the smelter in, in Trail. And... Train lost its brakes and, and down it went. Well, there's a 
there's a roadway that goes up so you can look down on the crash site, and that's a shot of, it's hard to tell perspective there, but that gives you an idea of how high big, up we are, steep right? steep bank. Big, steep bank. And we were up there, and I was talking to a woman who had brought her two twin boys out just to see that they wanted to come and see the train crash. Everybody yeah, yeah. had been talking about the train crash. So she was standing on the edge of, they were all standing on the edge of the cliff overlooking and they were talking about the train and she engaged me in a conversation as she was putting the boys back in the minivan saying, what time is this going to be on? That sort yeah. of thing. And I was looking at her like I'm looking mm -hmm. at you. And she'd put one boy back in the van and he got into the driver's seat and slipped the thing into drive. And while I'm looking at her. Right on top of this embankment. Right on top of this embankment. So I'm I know I've got about 50 feet yeah. to get to that van. Did you have that moment where you're like, something's wrong, like something yeah. seems to be moving? Something's like not, yeah, that moment of what is happening, yeah. and, then, and then you realize very quickly, okay, and at the end of the day, I, I did what I could. The sliding side door of the van was open, but I yelled, Started running towards the van and please tried to reach the kid. Please tell me this is where please. Wayne Cox comes into the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> but Tony Clark, the photographer, does. And I reached in, but the kid was terrified, right? He's in the van and he's and rolling, moving. and he sees this strange man running at him. I'm running screaming. next to the van, yeah. and I'm screaming, trying to reach him. And I, I got my hand on his T-shirt, but he just went, no. So I, uh, he was gone, yeah. and I fell and tumbled out of the way of the minivan. And but what did Tony, the cameraman do? Tony saw what was happening. The thank goodness the driver's side door was halfway rolled down, and he reached There's in Tony. as it was going past him. So it's probably going 10, 12, maybe 20k. I don't know how fast it was going, but he reached in and wrenched the steering wheel, and it hit. In that shot, you can see the the last stanchion in a washed-out guardrail. And the van hit that post that's now kind of almost oh, lying down whoa. and prevented it from going over the edge of the cliff. That's and amazing. everybody just, everybody was just stunned for a yeah. moment. It was just, Silent. what just happened? What did we, you know, well, we, everybody I mean, was high five. Well, reporting it, not being Living in it, in, it. Yeah. in the thick oh, and of it to, like And Tony's, Tony's camera got run over because he had it set up on tripe on a tripod yeah. in the minivan. Just went right over knocked top the, of it. Knocked the, These are the experiences you don't expect to have. No, you know what no. I mean? Like those moments where you're just like, whoa. And we were interviewed by CBC and local radio out there, but do you think we thought to take, we didn't get a single picture of the van. Nothing. Of the, well, of the, the camera went over. And you know what was funny? Because it, it took a couple of years, but the, the, the mother couldn't even think about what, what had happened. Have happened. It was yeah. a couple of years later, she sent a thank you card. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. amazing. After she yeah. processes that's everything. Process. No, listen, kidding. listen, I haven't been able to think about this for two years because, you know, you, you don't so want to think about it. Now, what has the last week been like working in a newsroom? We've had the royal wedding. Yeah. We had yeah. Bin Laden. We had our election. It just like, I, I mean, three major yeah. events just within a, few, within a few days. How was it for you guys well, on the other end of things? You know, it's why you do it. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's exhilarating. It's exhausting, of yeah. course, but it's also fascinating to be a part of the recording of history and yeah. and you have everything from the you know from the ab absurdity and and joy of the royal wedding and by the way the wedding bells are as, just as cute and as gorgeous <laughs> as can be in the green room and very excited funny. About they were the at the royal wedding excited, so. very excited about the wedding so that's going to be great but it just being a part of the recording of history and being able to tell some of those stories is fascinating mm -hmm, yeah. and of course the election ended in a way that you know, it's it's the campaign started and everybody was ho hum, how boring. Here we go again. Yeah, and, and by the end of it, it was like, wow, yeah. what just happened? Well, and and part of that, uh, you know, I mean, we've gone through these transitions in our industry and and the way that people consume news. But there's still something very important and very viable about that connection that a viewer has to not just the newscaster but the news team as well. Mm -hmm. The way it's presented, the team that's yeah. presenting it, the trust that's built up in that as well. That I don't think I, is ever I th replaceable. I think that's why Global BC has been as uh, popular as it has been and why people do, you know, the numbers bear it out. They come to us when it's and a big plus, story. you guys have Tony, superhero cameraman. Yes, yeah. we do. I mean, he, he saves lives. Yeah. And Wayne, meh. <laughs> Gosh. Thank you so much. Phases you guys are awesome. Congratulations Thanks. on Thanks. Thanks. five years. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Fiona wanted now. you to try and bench press me, but uh, well, yeah. no, we'd have come on. I think I me sitting on your lap like was enough to... Shoulder press, maybe. I might be able to... No, no, it might get happen. a little weird. It's not it's just happen. a little weird. Of course, you can watch Chris. <laughs> Let's just all think about it for global. a minute, though, shall we? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's and enough. And moving on. Getting too excited. <laughs> We're gonna take a break.